Hey babe. Uh, babe. <laughs> babe, I'm gonna I'm gonna open the door, okay? Mm. Uh hey. So um I was thinking, uh I am just trying to get dinner ready and such Babe? H honey what's what's going on? Why are you sitting here in the dark? Don't tell me everything's okay. Oh my god, do not tell me everything is fine. You are clearly not fine. Honey, are... Oh my god, are you crying? What is going on here? I'm gonna just kneel in front of you. What's happening? What's going on? Nothing. You're really gonna sit there and look at me and tell me that nothing is going on when you're... When you are sitting in the dark. And tears are running down your face, baby. Baby, what is... What happened? Are... Never mind. No, just... No, just, um... I was gonna ask you a very dumb question right now. Because you're clearly not okay. Baby, talk to me. Please. I'm right here. Okay. Come here. <clears throat> come on. Come with me. Come here. Come to the couch. <clears throat> now, I'm getting... Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna sit down. Lay down on the couch. And rest your head on my lap. Please. Just humor me. Mm. There you go. Now give me your hand. Look at me. If you can see me in this darkness. <laughs> Honey, it's okay if you're not okay. It's okay if you're feeling something. It's all of that is okay. I just, I just want to be here for you, okay? I just want to do everything I can to be there for you, to be here and present. I don't want you to feel like you're in this alone, whatever it is that you're going through, because you're not. I am right here, and I am not going anywhere. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care if I have to eat. I don't care if I have to go to work. I don't care if I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I am not leaving your side. Not until... Not until I feel comfortable knowing that you're okay. I'll sit here in silence with you. Just listening to you breathe. If that's what you want, and if that's what you need. What was that? Babe, you're, you're whispering. I can barely hear you. Uh, what? No, I, I heard you. I, I Now I heard you. I need you to repeat yourself. To make sure I heard correctly. You're... Who said that? Who said that to you? Who said that you're not good enough? No. Someone clearly had to have said something to make you feel that way. Or did something to make you feel that way. There's... Oh. I'm shaking. I'm shaking because I'm furious. I'm so mad that somebody would make you doubt your self-worth. How dare they? They have no idea who you are. They don't know how, how hard you work. How giving you are. They have no idea. And so, I need you to tell me who said that to you. 
Well, you mean nobody said it. It's just how you're feeling. Okay. But, but why? <laughs> like, what, what triggered it, I guess, is a better question. What triggered you to think that you're not good enough? That everything you've worked hard for, you don't deserve? Well, that's what that means. So, you didn't do 100% great on a project and now you think you're... Oh. I knew it. No, I, I knew it was something. It had to have been something. It was, <laughs> I knew somebody had to say something to you. You just said your dad told you something. Or kind of, I guess, told you something. Even though it was text message, so... Honey, your dad doesn't know what he's talking about. And I don't mean that in a, in a rude way. I care about him because he's your father, but he knows nothing about you. Not the real you. Not the brilliant you. Just because you didn't follow in his footsteps and just because... You didn't follow the path that he wanted you to go down. It doesn't mean that you're worthless or that you're not enough. And so what? So what if he sent you that text message? So what if he told you that? And so what if you didn't do 100% excellent on this project that you were working on? Seriously, it's... I still bet it was better than everybody else at that job of yours. Seriously. Yes, I 100% mean that. I wish you could see yourself through my eyes. And how would you see... Well, first, you would immediately feel nothing but unconditional love for you. You would immediately feel warm if you looked at yourself through my eyes. You would see how funny you are. How kind you are. not just anybody who goes and offers to help a total stranger in the grocery store when everybody else is just walking by but that's you you do that and that's how I see you as this giving nurturing genuine person that just wants to spread some kindness in the world Don't talk to me about that. Because you're setting crazy expectations for yourself. No one is perfect. No one is. So we have to work with what we have. We have to work with our imperfections and just try every day to improve ourselves. That's all. That's all we can ever do. That's just what it means to be human and you the love of my life even though you are a hero in my eyes every single day you're still a human and you still have flaws but those flaws are outshined by the amazingness of you so when I say that you are not worthless, that you are more than enough. I mean that. I mean it with every single breath I take. You're enough. 
and you will always be enough. So please, please, please don't lower your self-worth just because of other people or because of these insane self-expectations you think you can achieve. No one can achieve them. Not even me, and I'm pretty great too. <laughs> There's the smile. <laughs> oh, because I can see. <laughs> How did I know you smiled? Because I can feel it with my hand on your cheek. <laughs> and it got bigger. <laughs> I love you. And I'm so proud of you. Everything you've done. Everything you've accomplished. I see it. And others see it too. I'm going to need you to start seeing it, okay? <laughs> it might take you some time. That's fine. I'll just be here reminding you every step of the way. <laughs> mm. 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 Now, let's go. <laughs> we got to get into the kitchen. I gotta feed you. <laughs> My hero. <laughs>